Okay. So this is Mustang, uh, which is a Tibetan culture area in the north of uh, Nepal. It's a small protrusion into the Tibetan plateau and it was always an independent kingdom until just a few years ago when the new Maoist government in Nepal deposed the king. He has no more royal rights, even though the locals still treat him with a lot of respect. But at the end of the Kaligandaki Valley, which is where this small town, Lomantang, is uh, established, it's a small walled town uh, at about three and a half thousand meter altitude. And this is a typical house within the streets of that, that little town. Typically t central Tibetan architecture, sloping rammed earth walls. All the decoration you see is, has ritual significance. Uh, the roof is stacked with firewood to protect the, the mud walls from snow melt. But it's also a symbol of wealth, how much firewood you have. Because most of the cooking and heat, heating, there is no heating except from the animals that live on the ground floor. But the cooking is mostly done with goat dung or yak dung. Um, terrible to live in the kitchen, the smoke and so on. This is a very interesting object called a saguanamgo, an earth door, sky door. And this object closes the doors of the earth and the sky to demons and evil spirits that live in those areas. And it's made from the skulls of animals from the, from the household. The earth door is made from the skull of a ram, male sheep. And the sky door is made from the skull of a dog. It has to be from animals from the household. But the whole construction, you will see close up, uh, is very interesting. It has effigies of the family members, and it has a, these woven structures that look like spider webs, very much like ghost catchers in North American culture. And they function the same way. The idea is, is that uh, bad spirits are attracted to these objects. They come, they see the effigies of the family members, and then they get entangled in the, the spiderweb structures and they're stuck there. And then after many years, when this thing starts to look decay and rot away, it's taken down and carried out of the village and thrown away together with the spirits. And a new one is installed. Uh, and everything you see has some sort of significance like that. The red clay here, the three coloured clays here, the shape around the window and door, these little objects here, these one, two, three uh, little chotans, is the same reflection of the three colours there and so on.